Hi there, welcome back to ADSR FMA Tutorials. Get yourself subscribed to our YouTube channel if you're not already, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. So we're continuing to look at the arpeggiator in FMA in this tutorial. Previous tutorials, we looked at the globe, mode, tempo and expression functions or boxes up here. Today we're going to look at this pattern editor. So I've got this arp sound playing here squelchy sort of acid line and the first column we have here is the on column so it's quite self-explanatory really we can turn individual steps of that arpeggiator sequence on and off using these on and off buttons here just by clicking them on and off and next up you have tie which is a really interesting function of the arpeggiator because what this does is it ties the notes together so you can have the kind of legato sequence on an arpeggiator sound so kind of like a kind of 303 sort of vibe so if I tie all these notes together of course you're not getting much sound because at the moment it sounds monophonic and we've got this envelope on the filter so it's not re-triggering that envelope so go to polyphonic we're getting the envelope re-triggering and with all these notes tied together if you listen if I turn the ties off playback is slightly different you notice the difference a lot more if we're in a monophonic mode because the moment it's just one note just gliding up and down here using these transpose functions we can increase the amount of glide here in the portamento section and of course because we've got this envelope triggering this sound Know it's the two notes there that I've taken off the time. Retrigger the envelope. Of course, with the tie function, kind of makes this note length a bit less significant. So we go back to polyphonic mode. It's tying all these notes together, so this note length doesn't really have an effect on the sound or doesn't have an effect on the sound at all. So that's the tie function basically in the arpeggiator. Next up you have accent which we've looked at in one of the previous tutorials is relevant to this accent control up here which of course we need to have velocity sensitive operators in order for this to become active, the velocity to control to become active and then the accent is the amount of accent applied there so at the moment if I apply some accents, we're not going to notice a difference. Until we go back into our operators. It's only E and F, the operators for this sound. And then we can control the accents by placing the accent on various different notes in here and then the volume of these accents can be controlled over here in this expression box so let's load up a different ARP sound now Got a nice melody to this one, I've got it on a slow quarter notes speed Sounds cool on apes as well. So the next column we have underneath accent is no order. So it might be easier to explain this if I pull the sequence down, so it's only running over four steps now. Turn all of these on. And if I hold down 
a note now, C3, check it to key sync this ARP sound. Stop playing around with this note order. It's not going to have an effect on the sound. Basically, this note order is it reads or specific to the note input. So if I hold down a chord sequence now. And now I'll start playing around with the note order. It's going to play back notes according to the order that they were played in. So play a C. Set this an E and a G. And set all the note orders to three. Other than this transpose function, if we take that down to zero, if we look down here, we're just getting G. Although I've still got this chord sequence pressed down, it's just playing back the third note that I pressed. However, if we set these to all, it's going to play back all the notes that I pressed. And then if we include this transpose again, what we're going to get now is chords on all of these notes and then the chord sequence is going to rise up by plus five semitones and plus eight semitones. And you can see down here, this chord sequence playing back, it's playing back all the notes that I'm holding down basically. And also in this note order you have random, which is self-explanatory really. It's just one of the press notes is picked out at random and played back. So you can get quite creative with your arpeggiator sequences using this note order and then playing back chords on your keyboard and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Just reload this ARP sound back up again. So another cool feature in here that we didn't cover actually was the very top of this pattern editor we've got these left and right arrows and we can move this sequence this whole sequence we can move to the left or the right so if I have the left watch all these note orders in here if I maybe just do some stuff with the octaves Keep an eye on all these no these note order octaves and transpose down here. I can actually move that, it's like picking that whole sequence up and moving it, transposing it, so forward or backwards one step. So now step one, I want to move this to the end of the sequence. It's been moved to step 16 now, and then everything else has been brought forward a step, so... It's quite a cool, creative way to just get experimental with the arpeggiator sound, or if you want to just move the whole riff forwards or backwards a couple of steps, you can do. Just get that art sound back. And then, of course, the last two columns are quite a bit more straightforward, really. Octave, so... We can just take these these steps up by one octave, two octaves, or down by two octaves as well. So we have quite a few octaves to play with there. And, of course, on top of that, we've got this transpose. Plus 11 and minus 11 semitones. And so this is where we can kind of create our hooks and riffs really.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions on any of the stuff we've covered in the pattern editor of FMA's Arpeggiator here, just get in touch, let us know. Make sure you get over to our website also, fmatutorials.com. Tons more tutorials covering various different sounds with FM8. And thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye.